Hi, this video is going to be about the three families or types of rocks. As we uh, left off in the other video, there's igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Please know all the words in bold, what they mean, and how to describe them. Uh, we're going to be having labs on this as well to see the actual examples of rocks. But think about what texture each rock has and how the mineral grain size affects texture. Igneous rocks. They form from magma that crystallizes, which means the magma or lava cools and forms mineral crystals. Sometimes you can see those crystals because they're big, other times you cannot. Okay, the word igneous comes from ig, meaning fire or hot, like to ignite something. There are two subgroups. One is extrusive, and that's magma that cools on the surface. Very, very, very small crystals. The other is intrusive. Magma that cools slowly under the insulated earth. You're going to get big crystals. There are examples of each. You'll have to know the examples as we go through the lab and for the test. You can always stop anytime and write stuff down. The next group is sedimentary. Of course, these are formed by weathering, then erosion, then deposition of the sediments, then gravity CNCs, compacts and cements the sediments together. Another way these can form, of course, is by evaporation of a solution um, because there are some minerals that are classified as sedimentary rocks. There are three subfamilies or groups. Clastic, very, very common, probably the most common, and that's when rock um, fragment, fragments or sediments are actually cemented or stuck together. Uh, then, then we have chemical rocks, very similar to some of our minerals, Evaporated water leaving behind rocks or minerals, um, usually from a precipitate of a solution. And lastly are the organic sedimentaries, which are unique because they were rocks that were formed from things that were once alive. The last family of rocks are metamorphic. Meta meaning a lot and morph meaning changes. These are rocks that have undergone a lot of changes. The change happens to their structure and appearance caused by recrystallization or metamorphism. Basically, it's the rocks are heated and pressurized or cooked and smushed, you may also hear, um, so that the crystals rearrange themselves and change. There are two groups of metamorphic uh, rocks. One are foliated, and that's where the crystals or grains end up looking fairly parallel or in parallel bands or stripes. And then non-foliated, and these are tricky. They were in the grain sizes, seem to be similar in size. The crystals may look wet or glossy, like wet salt or sugar. Um, these are, as kind of the crystals are starting to re-melt or cook and smush and break up and change all crazy-like. And that pretty much sums up our overview of the three families of rocks and the subgroups within each rock. Don't forget, you need to know the families, how they form, the subgroups, how they form, and lastly, examples. We'll be doing the examples in class. Have a great one.